Paulina hit the button, make it official. Um, K Day Nation, it is Super Tuesday here in California. So many states, including the biggest one, California, have casted their votes today. Yeah. And um, we're going to talk about. That's right. Show up your Boy, did you vote though, or did you? Because I'm gonna keep it real. What? I don't know where these Insta thoughts are getting the stickers without voting, but there's some of y'all on Instagram faking the vote. Fake, stickers? yes, yes, for Hit the clout. <laughs> That's sad. Yeah. Don't anyway, fake the vote sticker. um, in honor of Super Tuesday and uh, me and Paulina really going out and voting because I waited in line for a long ass time too, by the way. But that's a whole other topic. Mm -hmm. Um, we thought it was only right to talk about the legacy and proud history of politicians pandering for black and Latino votes. Through the use of just one of our favorite things that we like to listen to, we like to be a part of our culture, hip hop. Because people use that all the time to pander for votes. Is that right? That is correct. One of my earliest pandering memories was, uh, who can forget Bill Clinton on the Arsenio Hall show playing saxophone? <laughs> We weren't as woke back then as we are now. So I'm not going to lie. A lot of us ate that up. And of course, when they're trying to get the Latin vote, I'll roll a couple clips right now. They all try to speak Spanish, and it always sounds horrible. Comunidad Latina, parte de la comunidad americana, vamos a tener una victoria grande. Que el presidente es el presidente de todo el pueblo que está ahí. And then, of course, the Panda Queen. She has many hits, like speaking in the country accent when down south campaigning. <laughs> I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. I have said repeatedly, I want those emails out. Nobody has a bigger interest in getting them released than I do. Like telling Charlemagne in the Breakfast Club she keeps hot sauce in her purse. Oh. Something that you always carry with you. Hot just... sauce. Really? You... Yeah. Yeah. Now listen, yes. I just want you to know, people are going to see this and say, okay, she's pandering to black people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it working? Yeah. I'm talking about Hillary Rodham Clinton, Paulina. I didn't know she told them that she kept hot sauce in oh, her purse. Oh, man. We can do a whole segment on Hillary Clinton. Oof. That's a cold piece of bacon right there. <laughs> 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 but Did I feel you like just call Hillary a piece of bacon. <laughs> okay, okay. That's Ruins get at. it. Ruins no. We had some pandering over the weekend though, right? Yes, uh, we got to talk about it. Tom Steyer, who was then still a candidate, now right. you know he dropped out. Obviously, brings out juvenile <laughs> <laughs> to sing. Back that ass up at his campaign rally. Okay, <laughs> I have so many problems with this. Let's just start off with juvenile being number one problem. <laughs> How much do you think Juvenile got paid for this? I don't know. Tom Steyer was one of the billionaires in the campaign that's been, like, buying shit up. I oh, mean, okay. so he probably gave Juvenile a nice check. A nice little cut? Yeah. I'm not going to lie, though. <laughs> Tom Steyer does strike me as, like, one of those, like, white dudes that likes black girls. Oh, no. So I can see him low-key right now with some Juvenile. I don't even care if he listens to Juvenile or not. The fact that back... What was it? Back that back that vote up was trending over the weekend. No, back that, hashtag back that vote up was trending over the weekend. You're shaking your head, Devon, because you know that is ridiculous. And just for that, I'm hitting the bitch button. Please do. Just for you. Half of me wants to uh, laugh like we're doing. Yeah. But the other half of me, especially being like, you know, I'm I'm black and Salvadorian. Um, I'm offended though. It's like, do you think I'm that stupid that just because you're on stage with fucking juvenile doing back that ass up, I'm gonna go to the polls and be like, I'm gonna vote for you. And it's sad to say, but somebody watched that and somebody voted for him. It's okay though. And to my knowledge, he never presented a platform for the ratchets, the insta thoughts, the strippers. So I feel like that's kind of like false flagging, you know what I mean? <laughs> and look, um, I saw the best comments, the best, like, people made memes out of this. It was just, it was a mess. But shout out to Kamaya, because Kamaya commented under the video, right? And she was like, what in the Bill Gluckman is this? And if you remember the movie, Malibuzos Wanted, <laughs> Yo. Bill Gluckman was the guy who was running for mayor, or pre I don't know what he was running for, was the dad. And he, <laughs> at, the end, at the end of the movie, he's got that scene where the, where the dude is on stage rapping, and he's in the background dancing like Tom Steyer. 
Feel. But this next one we're going to talk about, I don't think this is pandering, and I'll explain why after you explain what happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we're talking about Tom Steyer over the weekend, we got to talk about Bernie. Bernie was here in L.A., brought out Public Enemy mm. Radio, because now mm. it's Public Enemy Radio. We won't get into the Flavor Flav thing, because we're going to keep it on the hip-hop politics side today. <laughs> Flavor, what you doing, man? Come on. <laughs> Come on, fam. Someone check up on Flavor Flav, though. <laughs> Make sure he's okay. Someone Come on, check fam. on Flavor Flav. But check out what happened at the Bernie rally. Truth to power for decades. Please welcome Public Enemy Radio. Put the hands in the air. Huh? Right now. If you would have put the hands in the air. I'm not mad, and I'm going to say this is not pandering, Paulina. The reason being, Tom Steyer, juvenile. Like like I said, I was joking, but it's like Tom Steyer don't got no, like, uh, stripper platform. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but with Bernie Sanders and Chuck D, like, I believe that. Because the same things Bernie campaigns for, I feel like Chuck D raps about. So okay. it makes sense. Was it a pander? Maybe, but I think it was a good pander. You think it was a good look? Super good look. Chuck D don't do rallies for nobody. Okay. And apparently Flavor really don't do he rallies don't for nobody. Right. Not even for the check, <laughs> according to Chuck D. I started, allegedly. I started to see like the comments, and it was like a lot of comments were being like, oh, Chuck D selling out. But then the other half was like, you know, like, no, nah, that's pretty dope. I stand on the side where I just think it's dope that like, one, Chuck D is campaigning for Bernie. And I think musically and politically, whether you agree or not, they both kind of stand for the same thing. So that makes sense to me. And that, that combination made sense. Bernie and P.E. Yeah. Unlike Tom Steyer. Yeah. <laughs> not making sense. But if you actually watched the, uh, the rally or if you went to the rally, uh, like Chuck D actually hopped on the mic and kind of low key in his own way, gave a little speech. Yeah. Not just performs. I don't know if Juvenile gave a speech, but I know Chuck D was talking about, you know, the importance of. You know what? Let's just let's just let Chuck D do it. About the idea, and when it comes down to voting, voting is important as washing your ass in the morning. Now listen, you could talk about, oh, you know, you ain't gotta wash, you ain't gotta wash. You got the right to run around funky. You just don't have the right to run around funky and tell somebody that it stink out here. So you got to get your ass up and vote for something. Boom. You know what I like most, too, is that he let the curse words fly, man. It was like really a public enemy show. It really was. Shout out to J-Dubs, uh, morning show producer, who actually went to the rally. <sighs> and he was like, I guess public enemy went on and a lot of people left. Oh, really? Yeah, that's disheartening. Damn. But it, the, the house still looked packed. Like, if you look at the video, there's there's like a bunch of people LA there. LA Times said there was over 35,000 people there. Ooh. So, I mean, damn. Okay. Fight the power. You want to wrap this up? Um. Yeah. Shout out to you if you voted today on Super Tuesday. Shout out to you if you are voting in the upcoming elections. Get involved. Get active in the words of the great poet and 70s soul singer, Gil Scott Heron. <laughs> the revolution will not be televised. And look, it... Oh, Oh, I interrupted you. You got to give Gil Scott yeah, his bad. props. Okay. Yo, if you're going to go vote, this is so important why you have to go vote. Don't let all this stuff distract you from the real issues, okay? Yes, it was nice that we saw Public Enemy with Bernie. Yes, I laughed a lot when I saw Tom Steyer and hashtag back that vote up. And yes, Tom Steyer Twitter. probably does have a black harem on the side. <laughs> Sidebar. Okay. You heard it here first. But don't be distracted by that. Get out there and really vote. And like we said, today is Super Tuesday right here in Cali yep. in LA. I don't know when this will come out. I voted. But yeah, November's coming up. Don't don't sleep on it. Stay woke. Go vote. This is hot takes. Hit the bitch button. Wrap this bitch up. You you hit it. It's rap. Funky dog. Man.